Hello, I am Ed, and today I am going to show you uh, the best tips to switch smartphones at a specific time. Now, if you are using a smartphone and you don't know when should you when you should uh, switch or switch to another smartphone, or if you decide whether your phone's old or not, this video will help you out. So. Um, so why am I making this video? So there are uh, a lot of re reasons and the main reasons that uh, I really want to make this video is that I want to help you to avoid wasting money and time. Now if you are uh, too interested in a smartphone you want to switch it every time uh, you should not do that because uh, you'll, you will waste your money and time uh, it would be very, very, very uh, unnecessary to do that. And the next thing, the next purpose is to I uh, have to help you have more time to decide the next smartphone. You don't need to decide right now. You can decide it when uh, your smartphone is needed to switch. Okay. So again, have more time to decide the next smartphone. So if your smartphone is ready to switch, you can decide that time. Don't decide right now if you think your phone is still out, not out there yet. And the third one is to balance smartphone usage. Uh, I don't want you to use the smartphone one year and then the smartphone for two years, or three years. This is very, you know, unfair to some of them. And um, you know, I just want to point out that. Um, you should use your smartphones in a, a appropriate time. Uh, don't think about switching when you like it. You like switching, don't switch. Okay. So there are three three smartphone classification that I want to point out in this uh, video, and there will be a timestamps in the description down below. And uh, whether your smartphone is in this classification or three classi classifications and whether your phone is in any classifications skip to that part okay uh, there are three classifications again there are three classifications smartphones I'm going to talk about and when uh, the specific one will be switched and then uh, I will uh, and then uh, get yourself the best uh, smartphone classifications uh, decide whether your phone is in which uh, part in the flagship mid-range or budget and then do what I say so the first uh, classification I want to point out in this video is flagship so if you're using a highest-end uh, devices from uh, manufacturers I don't actually um, really make a difference between a $400 flagship and a $700 flagship uh, it can be any flagship you want I, I do not want to make a difference here so they can be apl applied to any flagships if they are flagship they could so uh, yeah so you should switch if the first thing is your phone is out of date and no longer supported by the manufacturer so if your phone has no longer received any Android update for example, the Samsung Galaxy S8, and your phone, the Samsung told you in like two, three, three years from now, and Samsung tells you that the Samsung Galaxy S8 has no longer received the Android version, receive any further update. You know, and then you know that this phone is out of date, and you should start switching. Uh, for the iPhones, a little longer, at four years, but some Android phones uh, can be at most three years even two years even and another uh, thing that another reason why you should switch is that if you miss newer hardware from newer flagships now let me let me let me give you an example okay uh, you have a Galaxy S7 and the Galaxy S8 release which is let's say Bixby you really want Bixby let's say no uh, that's not Bixby if you um, if the Galaxy S8 release and you really miss, uh, let's say the, um, uh, let's say there's a lot of things, but let's say if you want to have the home virtual home button, for example, the virtual home in the Galaxy S8, uh, 
but your Galaxy S7 you cannot have and there's no way you can have that on your Galaxy S7 sorry uh, you should switch okay if you miss any hardware feature from your flagships then you should switch for example you have an iPhone 6s and there's the iPhone 7 plus come out and you see this a dual camera and you really want a dual camera then you switch and another thing is that you could you should not switch if you in any of these three cases the first case is if if you have issues with your current smartphone uh, whether it be hardware or software if you like say you broke your screen okay broke your screen or you get a lot of scratches on your phones you have software issues then do not switch do not switch if you have any of these issues because uh, you know those are actually fixable you know you can broke screen you broke your screen you can't have it fixed if you have scuff you can press new shell for example this is completely doable completely reversible and it's completely um, not expensive at all and the next thing why you should not switch is that if you miss newer software newer software from newer flagship the, the both one is hardware now it is software okay so again on the Galaxy S7 if you miss the Galaxy S8 uh, let's say the Bixby you can still put Bixby on your Galaxy S7 as long as developers for example if developers are able to put Bixby on the Galaxy S7 a port from Galaxy S8 you should not switch because your phone can still have the Galaxy S8 features let's say from let's say the uh, if you really want the Galaxy S8 new UI user interface for example you can still put icon packs put launchers put wallpapers you can still do that you know so don't really like you miss software when you switch that is very very waste and the other one is pretty much obvious you want to save money uh, flash are very expensive so if you uh, don't switch if you are money saving so that is a flagship and now I want to take a look at the second classification is mid-range so mid-range are like around the smartphone in the middle okay so they are using this Navigon 600 series 400 series uh, they're using a Kirin 600 series the Exynos 7000 series excluding the 7 uh, 420 so you should follow the mid-range so again you can do if and don't if do if there are two things that you should know uh, two things why you should switch the first thing is if your phone is two or three generations behind again your phone is two or three generations behind for example your phone is a Moto G3 and it is a Moto G4 and a Moto G5 okay then you feel that your phone should be switched that is the perfect time to switch if you like have a G4 for example Moto G4 and then you yeah you can still not switch because it's still still pretty new so just a channel in behind there's nothing much to to concern about that is okay and uh, another thing that if you, you should uh, switch is if you again is again from new from flagship if you miss a new hardware from new phones so if you miss uh, the uh, let's say the Moto G4 Plus if you miss the G5 Plus uh, home button for example you, you can do it you, uh, you, you cannot do it and you have to buy a G5 Plus in order to experience it okay that is the mid-range do if and what I don't if you to not uh, switch mid-range phones to another phone because the first thing is that your phone is still fast and able to handle everything you do if you are let's say you're having a Moto G4 Plus just for Facebook and some lightweight game like uh, Tamarin 2 or sur with Surface then you should not switch because the G4 Plus even the Moto G the first generation Moto G can still do it just fine it's just a matter of graphics and just how slow how fast it is it's still fast so you can be able to handle everything you normally do on the flagship side it is of course very 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 obvious that it's, it's fast and able to do everything right 
uh, like say 10 year flash just like the iPhone 2G can still do uh, web surfing it can still do it but very slow just very slow but it can still do it okay that not the fact it cannot do it it will be a problem if it, if it can do it it will not be a problem okay and the second uh, one that's why you should not switch is that if you have issues with current smartphone again with flagship you have issues with hardware or software you can get a fix you can go to a store go to a manufacturer get a fix even 10 year old devices you can still get a fix just fine most likely um, and the fourth one is you want to save money of course mid rate doesn't cost very much so but you can still save money if you really really want to save money that's the mid-range uh, uh, classification here and the last uh, classification I want to uh, take a look at is the budget um, size the budget size is very cheap around $200 or cheaper or something like that some kind of thing and there are and there are actually a lot of things where you choose to switch because budget is way less cost way less the cost than some other like budget or uh, mid-range or flagship so there are a lot of reasons why you should switch I just want to point out some of them the first thing if your phone your budget phone is one or even two generations behind like the Model E for example if you're having a Model E, E3 E3 or E2 if the other E4 coming out then even E3 you should switch to E4 or even some other phones like even mid-range or flagship because um, budget phones are not that fast and if they are one or two chairs behind they start to feel slow or even almost unusable um, <coughs> that's not the case with like flagship, mid, like flagship or mid-range that even though they are old they can still fast but budget size they have very minimal amount of RAM very slow processor resulting in they very slow after even like several weeks of using it so if you are using a budget phone like one two gigs of RAM you should switch immediately if you are starting to get if your phone starts to get a year or two years old that is the best time to switch and another thing is uh, from the, the above one but this is a combination of hardware and software if you miss anything you miss anything from your phones if you miss from the hardware, you miss the software, you should switch. And here's why. Uh, in the uh, you know if you you know the foreign XT developers, they actually only focus us on the flagship models and the budget uh, and and mid range, uh, and only fo only focuses on flagship and mid range, and they they always focus on that. That's why uh, some. Uh, most budget phones will get forgotten a lot, uh, forgotten a lot. Even they don't even list it in the uh, XDA developers page. So it is very, very unlikely for them to put software to put the newer features from newer flagship into a budget phone. They would never do that. They would do it on a old flagship or even at least a, a mid-range, but would never do it on a budget because they're useless. They are. This is a hundred dollars. They don't actually meant much, so they don't do it. That's why if you miss anything for newer phones, you should switch. Another then if you don't switch, uh, there are a lot of reasons why you should switch. Uh, again, if you want to save money, of course, um, budget doesn't like cost a hundred, two hundred dollars. But of course, if you want to save money as much, much as possible, yeah, you you should switch. You, you should not uh, switch you were safe from. and the last reason is if you use them only for basic tasks for calling for messaging for email and etc because because these tasks are doable in every single smartphone every single smartphone budget to a one dollar phone can you still do it from to a thousand dollar phone can you still do it yes so that's why if you are only doing calling, messaging, email, there is no need for a switch. 
there's no need for a concern for any worrying that your phone will get uh, outdated your phone will never never outdate in terms of these basic tasks okay even they are 15 years old you can still calling just fine so that's um, the budget size and I hope you will find uh, the best out of your phones and um, I hope you will be able to uh, decide uh, when you switch and what you switch and the last one I want to point out is um, what smartphone classification should you switch to it's a pretty hard questions um, and I want to deal with a couple of tips okay so the, I, I, will, I will depend on prices and uh, the current prices in 2017 it, it could be changed in future so um, it can be applied for at least this year so uh, I will give you first thing is $600 or higher you should buy a flagship or an old flagship even you want that's of course very very obvious $600 or higher is all all flagship everywhere except for the iPhone 6 plus there are older flagship then you should not buy um, yeah the old flagship so just change I do not recommend what specific phone you should get that's your choice that other people's business but I want to t I want to this video I want to show you what kind of flagship uh, what kind of uh, phone classification flagship mid-range or budget only I don't I don't uh, list the specific, the specific one the second one is from $400 to $599 is flagship or all flagship this price is here all flagships are a lot like the LG G5 the uh, iPhone 6s iPhone SE to let's say the Samsung Galaxy S7 for example they are still viable they can still good they can still do anything you want they can still find best display best camera best uh, design best performance or in those our flagship but if you want something newer you can buy a newer flagship like the OnePlus 5 the Honor 8 the uh, ZT S7 iPhone SE those things um, <coughs> those flagship are newer if you want newer phone, you can just use flagship. If you want top notch design from last year or some other year, you can choose old flagship. The third one is from two hundred dollars, three ninety nine. You can you can buy three. You have three options. You can buy a mid range, an old flagship, or even a flagship that fight like the Xiaomi Mi Six, the Mi Pro Six Plus, or some other thing. Uh, mid range are not mid range are good. They are very new. They are having a best design in the mid range, uh, very top notch camera or something. But they can still not against. They're not not good enough against both flagship or even a flagship that time. So, um, best choose your best. Uh, if you want style, you want to use mid range. If you want to choose a power, use the best design. Use your old flagship. If you want a less common manufacturer like Xiaomi or Li Eco, but you still want uh, a uh, like Snapdragon 820, 835, choose a flagship. And again, and the last one is $199 and lower. From $200 lower, you should choose what? So choose from a budget or a mid range, even that will. Uh, you can choose a budget or an old flagship. So, budget and old flagship. In uh, this kind of price, from $199 and lower, you should buy old flagship. Again, you should buy old flagship. Just should, okay? If you want to buy a budget for style, for better design, new design, should budget. If you really want a really old flagship, really old flagship like, like the iPhone 5s, iPhone 5, choose old flagship. If you want design and power, and that's what uh, what I say about today, and. Uh, Thank you for watching this video, and I really, um, really hope that you enjoy this. Uh, like, comment, share, subscribe for more videos, and uh, thank all the hope out there uh, that give me eleven dollars uh, up to now. And thank you so so much. I could not do this without you. We really appreciate it, and I really hope to reach a thousand subscribers. 
uh, in the future. So thank you and goodbye.